Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is the difference between static and companion objects in Kotlin. So let's get started. So I have opened my project, which is a basic Kotlin project. So there is nothing much. Um, if you see, there is just a folder called uh, Tech Primers. This is just a package. So uh, let's go ahead and create a Java class. So I'll show you how we write uh, static in Java. And uh, let's compare that with companion objects in Kotlin. So as you know, Kotlin doesn't support static keyword so there is something called companion object so we uh, let's see how to use that companion object in Kotlin to achieve what we did in static in Java okay so as a start I'll just create a main Java class so what we're going to do here is let's create uh, one more class so I'm going to create a users class okay so let's say I uh, define a variable call private static int um, let's say string company okay and then let's say we assign YouTube to it okay so this is a static object and in Java what we do is we access it using users dot let's say private public right just make this public Okay, so we access users of company and then we get it. But how do we do it in Kotlin, right? So let's create a Kotlin class. So I'll just split this into two, so that we can um, get a hang around the Kotlin and we can compare Kotlin class. So in Kotlin main main k, let's say I'm going to create a file called main k. Okay, so in Kotlin, how do we write functions? Is fun main and we are going to get the arguments what are the arguments it's args and array of string okay right so uh, how do we write the same thing in Kotlin so let's say user k let's say I create a class called users k okay I'm gonna say class users k okay here if I create a variable with uh, val company equal to YouTube okay let's see if we are able to access it from the main method here okay so let's say users k dot if you notice here nothing is coming so basically we can't access this variable object instead we can use the companion object so companion object is nothing but a group of or basically a block of uh, code where you can mark them as companion and those all will be exposed as a static via the class okay so what I have done is I have done companion object okay and then I have created a block of command here and then I have put the va uh, variable company inside that so if you notice here I'm able to access the company object here directly okay let's print both the classes and just let's run just for uh, checking right so first let me run Kotlin it takes a while though I think it's just building it from the beginning because I just opened the project I didn't uh, try it before but yeah hopefully it should be fine yeah okay if you notice here the Kotlin object has come the YouTube so if you run Java yeah, as you know Java is going to print it right no, normal YouTube okay so this is how you access a static variable so let's say I want to access a static method so what do I do so in Java what do we do we just say public static get company right and then what is this returning this is returning a string and you say return company just for namesake right so this is how we write a public static uh, method right so and you directly access the get company here so how do we do that in Kotlin so in Kotlin 
since you created a companion object block you can write the method here directly so i can say get company my return type is going to be string right and i'm going to return company that's it okay so let me move this out actually wait a second i'll just move this in looks like we're not able to access the company object here right so let's try doing this users k dot company right so if you notice here still we are not able to access right i don't know why but uh, this is weird let's do remove this variable and then just say we are going to return some empty string okay actually the problem is not there the problem is with here the syntax of the function so yeah that that's what uh, gupta for process right so uh, if you see here the variable is uh, here and now the function is like this i just put it here okay so now if you notice we can access uh, the variable here but what is it say platform declaration clash the following declarations have the same jvm signature the get company because kotlin by default converts the company as a get so this is what i wanted to show if you notice in Java, we were able to do that, right? We were able to create a static method with get company, right? But in Kotlin, by default, it creates a getter and setters for this. If it is a if it is a val, it creates a getter. If it is a var, it creates a setter automatically. And that is why we are not able to use the same property with a getter, okay? Instead, if you say just get, we will be able to do that. So if you notice here, get works. So I can directly get this. And that is a static method. So it behaves like a static method. So that is the difference between Kotlin and Java, like in terms of accessing uh, static objects. If you notice here, what we do in uh, Kotlin is we create a companion object. And in terms of Java, what we do is we do just a static method. So let's say I want to access the Kotlin object from Java, right? So how will I do that? So let's say from main Java, but these both are in the same project, right? So I'm going to access this particular user's k company from the java code let's see if we can do that so i am just saying users k dot if you see here i don't have it i can't do anything right so this is because kotlin doesn't create this particular object as java, uh, as a static object instead it creates its own um, what do you call type because it doesn't support static it doesn't know static so in order to make start uh, kotlin know that okay this is static and it is uh, running on the jvm so we can add an annotation called JVM static. So if you mark this particular annotation, now Java code will be able to identify, okay, this particular variable is a static variable. So now let's try users k. If you notice here, I just added the Java static and then I can see a get company. Okay, this is because your company object gets automatically converted into a get company. As I showed earlier, right, we were facing an issue where I, I was not able to create a get company. Okay, that is why you see now the get. But if you see just the get get uh, particular method is not there because we have not marked that as JVM static. Now let's say let 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 me mark that particular function as now JVM static, and we should be able to access it now. So I just say get. If you notice here, the function is now available for us to access, and you can directly do a print of it so i'll just show i'll just run it once just to show that okay from java you can con call a kotlin uh, class okay and the only difference is if it is a static variable you have to mark it as static so that java can access it if you see here this u capital ui is coming from the kotlin class okay so that is how you access the jo uh, classes from java to kotlin or kotlin to java so from kotlin you can say print we already have a static right you just say users dot if you notice here you already have company and get company whichever we created here okay so you can just use that 
I just say get company and then if I run it, it should be able to give us the data which was coming from the Java class. Okay, so this is the difference, basic difference between static in Java and static in Kotlin. Basically, it's not static, but it's a companion object. So that is what uh, Kotlin calls it. So this is how you access the variables and if you want the Java classes to access that static or the companion object, you have to mark that as JVM static. So this is an annotation coming from Kotlin. So you have to do that or else you won't, you won't be able to access it. So that is what I wanted to cover in this video. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you have any comments or something, if you have any doubts or clarifications, go ahead and comment that below. I'll be, trial, I'll be able to answer that. Uh, meet you again in the next video. Thank you.